a you bitch. code for on the officer down. Uh, Rory states she was being clumsy. 10 4. Not today, Bubba. Oh, I wanted to. See, this was my favorite officer because I 1,000% should have gotten booked at the dock earlier. Who were you, extraterrestrial? All good? Yeah, if you want to go in and talk with her, but she said she was just being clumsy. I might have a word to say, hey. Is this the back of the unicorn here? Yeah, uh, the other entrance is locked, but this one's open. Son of a gun. Nope, never mind. Oh, if you yell at her to let you in, she might do it. Ah, that's alright. James Antoine, did we meet? What did you do that should have got you arrested? Tend to the Yoda from it. She's missing a headlight, but I don't want him. Ew, mud. Just curious, Bubba wants to get to the bottom of this. We're changed, Bubba, we're changed. That scrape, that scratched up the side of my car, I was gonna be pissed. You're just gonna watch this. Help! Hey, what in the hell is going on here? Just trying out for the fucking NFL. No, that's what you get for hitting me with your car. <laughs> Y'all right here? Everything cool? Yeah, we're good. All right, all right. No, I got brain damage, man. You can't be Rainbow. doing that. Oh, hey, it's I the got, guy my legs are broken. You me. hit me with your car. Listen, man, I got brain damage, bro. No, no, no. Hey, what happened there, Austin? It took you a little while to get back. I've been here for some minutes now. Oh, yeah, no, I, it's not like I saw you fire on your sirens or speed down the highway or anything, right? That's against, I had a call that my conduct, officer right? went down. No, 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 I, I don't, I don't doubt you, you know, I just thought it would be weird if you had an officer down that you'd be flexing to the young Lambo owner about your speed then. Look, son, your car obviously burns mine, alright, unfortunately you ain't got no license to just cut loose like I do, so. No, 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 I don't, but, uh, maybe, maybe I'll apply for one. Yeah, be that careful with that box, son, you're gonna get yourself in trouble again. Yeah. What do you mean? I went to the pier. Me and the chief partied it up. Me and the chief partied it up, Vince. What do you mean? I I didn't party, Shit, but he was bro. there. He he. Okay, they also the yelled at me for stuff. Hotel, motel, uh, I gotta check in oh, with hey, the chief Ray. about that. 
Okay. Oh, well, actually, Ray, do you do you remember? Yeah. Hey, Rip, hey, officer, run, buddy. What a jump, son. Thank you. Why, did, why, why are there so many the, people? Someone hitting people with a fucking hammer. The one zero nine. Honestly, they shouldn't have gone there to begin what? with. Huh? So much shady, but, uh... Something wrong? I thought I heard a bunch of crashing. Oh, uh, it's just Matlock. Kind of, he he fell into town, so to speak, just oh, now. Matlock upgraded. Look, we got a uh, bike now instead of a moped. No, the moped is a company moped. I drive it during work hours. Gotcha. Understood. Yeah, you look like you've been also, working for the last little bit. Also, I would like to sue Austin for two dollars and ninety nine cents. Well, he's right I, there. Pick a court date that y'all can both make it in a uh, day the judges around. Do we do we have cents in the city? Unless he just wants to pay you the two dollars. So, Austin, you want to do a settlement? Yeah, Austin. Austin two dollars. Uh, technically three. We just round I just, it off. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll, give don't really operate I just, I'll give him a tip. I'll give him a tip. I feel. I just feel so betrayed right now, Austin. I can't believe you wouldn't grab my sunglasses. I'm sorry, man. I, I forgive you, though. It's it's. <laughs> my sunglasses completed the fit, though. Probably that isn't important right now. I don't have my sunglasses. Still seven officers on duty? Or are there seven bosses in town, I wonder? Station one, two, three, four. Looks like there's only four officers on. Uh, 101, can I get a quick roll call of every officer on duty, real quick? 105 is 1041. The light was green, you guys saw the green light. <clears throat> How much are cops making? British lady said 10k an hour. Abubba makes 1,500 an hour, which is, I think, the very bottom of the barrel. I think Bubba makes the least out of all the bosses. I don't know about the lawyers or some of the newer businesses. I don't know what they get paid. Um, Bubba makes 1,500. I believe the officers under Bubba make 12 or 1,300 an hour. The officers under them make, would be lieutenants. Sergeants make, uh, Like a thousand ish. Regular officers. No, no, no. Sergeants make about 800. Regular officers make 400. Probies make 200. Yeah, don't worry about it, Matlock. I'm, I'm personally redoing the entire economy this week sometime. We'll be set. I, I think the bottom line doesn't make enough. I think the top of the line is probably making enough, if not too much. Um, maybe not in your case, but uh, 
I'm bumping. I want to bump welfare up from 100 an hour to 200 an hour because 100 an hour is a crime. And yeah, we can go from there. Oh, Hi. Bubba. Bubba. What's going on? Hey, buddy, how y'all doing? Oh, Bubba. Doing good, how are you? Bubba, I'm doing all right. All. We're having some team bonding here. Oh, shoot. What does Pillbox have the pleasure of this visit? Oh, I'm just swinging by. You know, town's kind of winding down. I'm just kind of saying hey to the folk. Sir, oh. I got a, I got a very yeah, important question for you, actually. No um, I heard, I know you got good connections in the government, and we're just trying to get some, you know, um, reimbursement in our ambulances, if that's possible. I don't know if you know who we could talk to about that. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, we'll we'll get those. I'll I'll talk to the mayor. I'll have him wire in the some more EMS funding if that's what you're looking for. Oh yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we can make that happen. It'll go right into the society account, and then uh, Doctor Luxon or any other chief around here can uh, help help you, you know, make up payments with that. Okay, okay. sounds good. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, no, just swinging by, just seeing where everybody's at. None of the whole go? yacht party's dispersed. Yeah, we're just his brain popped. Hanging out. Team real timer in game hours. <clears throat> yes. So I heard something about a city council. How would one go about getting on that? I don't know a damn thing about no city council yet. Uh, oh, I might find out this week. Walker oh, is down at the worry. mechanics. Wait, 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 hold on. There's good parts. Do we have a uh, Walker runner down at the mechanic shop? Can anybody be en route to that? One, two, three, else responding. Please get in the car, Bubba. It doesn't say officer down like it's supposed to, but there is a message that says that he's down. Hey, if they got officer down, they got officer down. I'm on my way. I'm holding shift. What does holding shift do? Why was it my instinct to hold shift during it? What's going on? Walker, Walker's down. Walker, Walker's down. I got re no, I got reports of gunshots. Dang it! Oh, well, Walker fell off his bike. I mean, uh, fell down some stairs. Steps. Why did I get reports for gunshots? Because no idea. someone, I don't know. I didn't even hear. I just, I don't. Walker's right here. Yeah, Walker's over here. Says that runners down at the mechanics. He fell off his bike. No, 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 yeah, it's the mechanic shop. Trying it's, to figure uh, out where right, the gunshots right came right over from. here on the parking lot that they have. I don't even know. 10-4. I literally cannot make out what you're saying. You sound like Optimus Prime. Hey, you're clear. It looks like the situation's defused. Oh, uh, he's, he's right, right over here. Where'd you go? Is he shot? I'm all right. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Runner, what the fuck? I fucking he, fell, Chief. He, he fell down fall the stairs. off the roof? Or the stair. Sometimes you just lose control of your muscles and you hit the ground pretty hard. What? Do you mind if we go and grab him and take him to pillbox? Okay, now oh. here's how we can do this, all right? No, I'm... All right, everyone, everyone, back. Needs room. First of all, y'all back the hell up. Back give him room to breathe, up, give him room to work. Up. Come on, back up. Fat, come over thank here. You, thank you, back up, everyone, back up. So this is how we're going to handle this, all right? Because here's the thing. I have the number of who called in. I can cross-reference it with my dang MDT and find out who it is, or you can tell me who called this in right now. That was me. Why in the hell did you say gunshots? Because there were gunshots. Officer, where did you, uh... I mean, what you got the call for gunshots, didn't you? You need to take you to the hospital, officer? Why? No, he he's down for falling. Why, when when, and how were there gunshots? No, I hit the... Didn't you get the call for gunshots? No, son, I got your call yeah. saying there were gunshots. Exactly. So, where were the gunshots? He might have overheard ammunition, chief. God, bro. You know, Walker was like, over there. I'm all right. Actually, uh, Chief, can I give you like a text real quick? Um, That's fine, son. Just make it snappy. Was gunshots fired you know, maybe, at the maybe he heard, down. maybe he heard the ammunition and then saw That's Runner dead, and you know, gunshot. just tried to connect the dots, and the dots didn't connect. Because if you're telling me gunshots to get me over here quicker, one, you succeeded, but two, it's your ass. Because our our response, if somebody takes a tumble, versus our response, if there is an active shooting situation, are very different responses. Oh, oh yeah, man. Yep. You don't cover us, your ass. My my number is six five seven. Dude, I've been on a full week and I still can't afford one. 
Maybe EMT checks. Do you need him, hurt. Chief? I can step away. No, no, no. You're all right. You're all right. I'm getting another officer. What's up, fam? You good? See, so you got an eye on this. Four on that, Chief. All I did was fall off a bike, and Benny decided to. Benny, can I have a word with you? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Who's who's want to talk to? Damn hooligans missive using the damn phone system. The stupidest lights in the city! I might see if we could just have them remove these. Just like literally take them out of the game. KNY682. That was so stupid. Bubba's just mad that we had a whole shots fired call officer down scenario, which is much different from a dummy fell off the back. Oh yeah, that window wasn't broken. Walker swarm in his secrecy, man. I'm sure he's just talking to whatever girl's down there. I, I just saw Walker Runner Wipeout on a BMX bike. Oh, LOL, officer. that's unfortunate. Excuse me? I mean, oh shit, a drive-by. Someone's got it out for Runner. Nothing is happening at the VU. She's lying. Blink twice. She's not truthing. Oh, hell, Bubba, what are we doing? 101 responding to some uh, potentially malicious activity seen on Twitter. Is Walker a man slut? Yes. Bubba don't know that, but T-Shot knows that. Can y'all hear me? Hello? The mayor's quad bike? Does the mayor have a quad bike?
Can y'all hear me in there? Oh, this is the door. Hey, y'all got your ears on? Everything all right? Police Chief Bubba Law just checking in. Oh my god, it works. Hello? Anybody home? Assume it's uh, Rory dicking off. The fucking wait, where did it go? What in the Sam Hill? Hello? Bubba Law, just checking in. I don't have a car here anymore at this point. I guess there was one person left here and they left when I went around back. Oh, that light was green, chat. You guys saw that. Y'all saw the green light. I saw the green light. We took the green light there. And we're off. Whose Corvette is that? The Yangs. Oh, it's nice. Oh, What's up, Chief? Yeah, no, just uh, before all that happened, anyway, just coming back. Oh, okay, sounds good. I hate my life. Sorry, I took the opportunity Shoot. to buy myself a car. I bought a, I bought a bike. Looking good, son, oh. looking good. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, only, a lot. My only vehicle is that fucking hunk of junk. Wait, you don't have your own car? Oh, the I'm saving up. Is his I'm car. saving up for the uh, GTR. Oh, that's I, I don't... It's 67k. Really you flash your headlights, okay. the lights change? That's gotta uh, be bullshit. Is there anyone you can take a load of? Yo, can you take loans out? Uh, there, I heard there was a car giving out loans. I don't know about any loans. I know they're renting cars out. Howdy, sir. You ready? Hello, sir. Things pretty slow during these hours. Yeah, it was crazy during the morning. Tell you what, a lot of people get on morning. I, I swear mornings when we're always understaffed with police and EMS and all that. And then they, they go nuts. And then as yeah. soon as we start to get on, they all calm down. Yeah. Ended up uh, finding Vic by chance, and we're getting some locks installed for some of the more difficult patients. Good, good. You'll need that. I'm glad you have that. And there's a lot of those patients. Yeah. We should be the ones taking them out of here anyway. Anyway, so. Yeah, but you are, like as much as it like pains me that like you guys can't, but you guys are understaffed. 
Yeah, luckily we got 12 to 14 new cadets coming through this weekend, so our, our force is damn near going to double. Well, actually, I think it'll more than double if this whole crew comes through. That'll be good, because we definitely hey, need the number. I just applied to be a mechanic as my second job. Because there's basically three, and none of them could work at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our morning shift is really hurt, can I say that much? Our late night shift is too, but the yeah. criminals tend to calm down in the late night, so it's not so bad. Yeah. Well, I'm going to continue training my new uh, recruits. Good stuff, son. Yeah. Have a good night, sir. Yeah, you too. It's just not worth it. No, it's... It, there's no need for you to own an ambulance, honestly. I really shouldn't have bought a car. I pretty much live inside a pillbox. You never know when you need a car. Hey, y'all get more people on staff. I, I've been meaning to tell you this in, in that unified uh, email list we got, but y'all get more people on staff. It's not going to be that big a deal for some of y'all to be going, uh, be on call necessarily. So you want to be out getting a burger at Burger Shot or hanging around Tequila Tony's or whatever, as long as you're not drinking, obviously. And then just be oh. ready. And if you're in yeah. the area, when you get the notification, then you just respond to it kind of thing. You know what I mean? For you drivers, at least. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it like, on you can either be here, you can be out on patrol, or if you have, if you got even like extra units you feel like, you can tell a couple people, oh, you know, on call is like you're half off duty. Like, don't get drunk or, you know, be in the middle of something stupid, but, you know, you can be around town kind of wherever you want. And then if a call happens yeah. near you, you, you respond to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what we've been kind of doing. I mean, me and, me and Dr. John over there, we kind of just chill at the hospital just in case something happens, and then kind of let the other EMS do their thing. Have fun. Yeah, as long as you got the numbers, EMS is uh, totally certified. I don't think anybody's gonna yell at you for something like that. As long as you got, you know, yes. a couple main EMS and a couple on call EMS, you're good to go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I pretty much live in my back doctor's office. Yeah, hopefully y'all get another doctor or two in here as well, and then you won't need to be tied to the place so much. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're kind of working on right now. Sorry, I'm at the difficult. generic office. Oh, okay. No, no one, no one really wants to uh, step up and be a doctor. I found. Uh, don't blame them; it's hard. So. Y'all got a lot of the responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, know what? Speaking of responsibility, time. uh, Doctor Luxana, are you are you are you pretty quiet down here? Uh, sorry, repeat that. Said so, so y'all are pretty quiet around here. Uh, would yeah. you would you mind uh coming along with me? A quick ride along session. Uh, oh sure, yeah, of course. to drag it from work I just got something I really need to show you oh no it's okay um, this is my first break I've taken today so probably the best oh I'll do what I can and not make it too boring you know chief uh, it seems whenever you're kind of in the hospital it's not too boring so I trust you well that might be a bad thing considering your line of work enough but i've only seen you as a patient like once other all the other times you kind of just you know popped in to check on us yeah i can't really afford to be being a patient too much i feel like when i'm in town the town kind of needs me oh i uh felt that it's a it's a big mood yeah you ever been a patient in there before once once the hell happened to you um so i got hit by a local when i was driving to get gas in my car um and so I had to be picked up, and then my distress signal wasn't working. So I was kind of just stranded until someone found me. Oh, now I feel like some people have been having an issue with that the last couple of weeks, I think. Yeah, so unfortunately it was that me who had the issue, and I was the only doctor around, so... Oh, that is a uh, pity of a paradox, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, kind of just treated myself and went back to work. 105 dispatch, going to be a code 8, mark me 10-7. 10, seven. Ten four. Uh, Cody. Chief, if you don't mind me asking, where are we heading to? Oh, just right up here around the corner. It's not, it's not far at all. Oh, okay. And yeah, there's a tiny little niche spot of this world I stumbled upon the other day. Well, let's just say I feel like I've unlocked something. Uh, oh, 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 okay. It's not good driving skills, I'll tell you that much. My brakes won't work. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I wasn't going to say anything. Um... 
Nice. It's getting late. I've been uh, I've been on shift for a while now. Yeah, maybe you should you know take a break. Relax oh yeah, we're, this is kind of what we're doing here. We're taking a little break. Oh over. okay, you know what? yeah, both of us can you get away for a little bit. See, we'll handle it so. Yeah, yeah, no, no. F follow me, Miss Luxon. Excuse me, oh, Doctor Luxon. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, don't worry. It's okay. It's better than when people call me a nurse. You know, I feel like um. Yeah, you you didn't do the you didn't do the eight extra years of school to be called a nurse. I understand. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. All right. Now, what I think of what I think I've discovered here, right? Miss mm -hmm. <clears throat> Luxana, you give a you give a lot of prescriptions out. I do. I do. It's painkillers. Yeah, yeah. You give, have you ever you ever experienced uh, any of them? Their drugs you'd be handing out to people? Uh, no, I have not. Um, not even drinking, honestly. Bubba's never really been a drug user himself, but uh. Right. I think I found a way to experience what they sometimes refer to as enlightenment. Enlightenment, huh? Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you up here kind of stays between you and me, all right? Okay, sounds good. Because uh, if you try to tell other people, they're going to think you're crazy, and, and I'm going to deny it. So that's, that's how that's going to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it'll just be a you and me thing. Got it. Yep, yep. Just you and me. Okay. So right up through here. Miss Luxon, have you ever wanted to experience enlightenment? You know, I was curious. You know, I hand out these drugs... You know, and then the patients get all loopy, and I always wonder, like, you know, how does that feel? This might be a step beyond that. Oh, okay. Um, See how we're already glowing with a, with enlightenment a little bit? Oh, yeah, a little nice glow. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Normally, I give people a big old long speech to prep them for it, but I think you kind of uh -huh. already are mentally prepped for this. So just, uh, if, you would, yeah. if you're ready to experience enlightenment, walk through the door of enlightenment with me. Uh, uh, okay. Enlightenment! Oh fuck, where did she go? Oh fuck, where did she go? Uh Doctor? I can't hear her either, yeah. What did you think, Doc? Holy shit, is that what it feels like to be on drugs? I certainly hope not. That seems I, I would see why they do it if it felt like oh that. Oh my god, yeah, I don't blame them. Whoa, yeah, that you, was... you wanna go uh wait by the car, I'll lock up out back. I, oh, I kinda oh, got the only oh. key in town to this. The music I'm playing from the background fits. If I tackle her through the door, I will die and she can revive me. That could be fun, right? Hey, uh, Doc, come over here real quick. Are you feeling all right after your first round of enlightenment? It, yeah, you know, I feel great. Never better, honestly. I feel like I'm unlocking more parts of my brain. All right, there's one more yeah, door yeah. for this. Oh, now, okay. this one, because mm -hmm. the first one kind of feels like you're falling. This one is a completely yeah. different experience. But if you want to walk through that oh. door, just experience oh. the second round of enlightenment. Oh. It's, it's oh. way different. Go ahead. Okay, okay, I'm going to... Okay. Psych, it's the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> you hear on the way out. <laughs> I don't know why I have fun doing this. I don't even know why I have fun doing this. I just, I just know I have fun doing this. Uh, nope, not over there. Oh, good, you're all right. Sometimes the enlightenment can put you somewhere else. Anyway, I have all this information. I just had to feel like I, I needed to share it with someone in town. <laughs> you know what? I appreciate that uh, I was the one you had to share this with. Honestly, I feel honored. Can't leave that open all willy-nilly. Yeah. Um, you know, if I ever want to, um, you say, uh, experience this again, and you're not busy, you think we could, you know... You, you would have to contact just, me. Yeah, just, just don't tell yeah. nobody about it. I'm going to go make no, sure no, I'm locked no. up. Okay. Did I lock up? Yeah, I did. Okay. My stream lagged. Oh, that's a pity. 
Uh, I'll get you back down okay. to the pillbox. Okay, Don't block you. the dang door. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, for... I'm not busy, you're not busy, I'll, I'll definitely, um... Contact you. You ever feel like you just need a brain refresher or something? I feel like, yeah. I, I feel like I'm smarter after I do that. No, I feel like I can perform like three surgeries at once kind of thing. Yeah, which would normally take like six arms, but... Just the enlightenment. Exactly, exactly. Somebody gave me earlier... Somebody earlier told me there's a loca there's another location that does that, and I don't know what it is. I need to go back and watch uh, Chad's perspective of enlightenment, though. You getting everything situated down there at the hospital, all right? I heard you were organizing some stuff, trying to make um, streamline stuff a bit. Um, yeah, I was, you know, it's a little Thank bit you, of a Jim. process. Um, I've been kind of busy, hands tied, so hopefully I can kind of work on that. This coming uh, week. Yesterday um, when I was dealing with the robbery, things are a little chaotic, but we're making do, so. I'm hoping we have progress the during the week when the city's all shut down and whatnot. What the hell yeah, I, I think it'd be easier. What is? I'm gonna drop you off and come back and deal with this. Okay, okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right, later, Doc. Have a good one. Okay, thank you, Chief. See you later. Ten nine on that, Cecil. You look, you look quiet for me, son. Uh, yesterday when I was, uh, getting someone to pull them over for a traffic stop for a robbery, they handed me $2,500 in legal cash, and it seems like I can't drop that $2,500, so what do I exactly do with that? Say it was legal or unmarked? Just legal. Uh, we have, we're working on an evidence locker, son. For right now, just, just know what's yours and know what isn't. 10-4 in that, Chief. I'm not even. Oh, I should. Like, I'm not even gonna run this, but I really should. Freddy West enlightened Austin by the mechanic shop? Oh, okay, so I knew there was another location. And I knew Hank found it, but we actually need to put a lock on any possible enlightening place. That really shouldn't be something the public has access to. Oh, Jim, if you wouldn't mind grabbing that other clip while you're in the business of it. Oh, it was an accident in enlightenment? Okay. If you wouldn't mind grabbing that other clip of, uh, of me getting Chad from Chad's end. Um... If not, I can get it here in a minute. Hell yeah, I'll look at that. Let me get back down to MRPD. I'll have a look at that. I think the local felt me coming in hot. You wanna go? You wanna race? Old bubble will beat you. Old bubble will beat you. Oh hell, she doesn't turn yet. Pussy. Anyway. Has Burn been enlightened? No, I can't enlighten Bird. Because if Bubba enlightens T Money, that light was green. You guys saw that? The green light that we just went through? If Bubba enlightens T Money and Chad tells him about the enlightenment, Bubba can't pretend that it never happened. But if now, if Chad tries to tell people, Bubba can just deny it, and Chad looks like he was on drugs again. Enlighten the dog. Oh, we did. We did. Pablo actually was there for Chad's enlightenment. Now, let me see this. Oh, my God, there were two parts. Yeah, oh, yeah, I had Pablo do it. By the way, if you guys don't follow Buffalo Prime, uh, he's well worth it. And also, if he gets 95 more subs, he's going to dye his hair. He's already doing a Bowsette cosplay, so for the love of God. Okay.
bad. What? Do you know if Pablo has the ability to carry? Uh, he hit the goal? What a freak. Oh, oh, Pablo, oh. carry him to enlightenment, Pablo. Where? What is happening? Carry him to enlightenment, Pablo. Oh, hell. Enlightenment, what is, Pablo. What is this? What? Oh! 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 What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 What? what? <laughs> How you feel, Mr. Spitter? Oh. Oh. I thought... Oh, no. Bad. All right, let's look at part two. What? Oh shit! There's you people know, outside. Has... Why y'all look like you showed up here to kick my ass? <laughs> you look like you're about. <laughs> well, funny enough, you look like you were about to beat ours. No, you roll it like a biker gang in grade school or something. You know, I think we should we should do that. We should start a biker gang of BMX people. Just yeah. go around. A, a bicycle gang. Yeah. Yeah. We get uh, out can can I help you boys or something? No, we, we were just, we just, just came here. The city. Actually, we just saw you uh, standing there menacingly. Oh, I'm just manning yeah. the front. Yeah, holding your, uh, oh, wow. holding your belt. Holding, those, like holding another fort. It was kind scary. of the job. Part of the job, at least. I'm surprised I usually uh, Lily's around here around this time. Yeah, I tell you what, Lily has been, she was in town, but she wasn't on duty. I didn't see her too much tonight. Oh, weird. Usually we hang out, but whatever. I'm sure she's busy. Well, when I saw her earlier, she was down at your dang shop, so I don't know what was going on. I don't know either. You know how much stuff happens there. You can't keep track of everything. Yeah, yeah I'm well aware. But yeah, um, Tyron, we should go um, loiter somewhere else because it says no loitering, so. Yeah, I mean, we got the sign and everything put up. Yeah, um, but it doesn't say anything about no BMXing, so I'm just gonna hop on down your stairs there, Chief. Is that right? You one hop on the way down. Don't hang around here too long. Okay, wait. What if I hang on? I got an idea. I'm gonna do some cool stuff. Athletics. Boston came back up here, I was gonna tase him. Hey, Chief, how you doing? What the hell did I tell you about loitering? <laughs> oh, no. No. Wait, Get out of here! These, right? oh, God, God. Get out of here! Anyway, that other clip we were looking at. The ability to kick. Oh, hey, you Bad. went the same quick. Did you? Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is still the first clip. There we go. This is the second one. Happening, dude. What is happening, dude? All right, Mr. Spitter, how you feeling? Oh. I kind of have to simultaneously poop and wow. vomit. Oh, come on now. See, oh, God. A different area of enlightenment, all right? Something completely. You see how we're glowing now? We're glowing with enlightenment. Just walk through there. It's completely different. Wow. Oh, God, not again. Fuck. Oh. I'm kicking over to his whole VOD, man. I want to see how he reacts. <sighs> What is happening, dude? All right, Mr. Spitter, how you feeling? Oh, I want to see how he reacts when Bubba starts telling him it's not real. That's his phone, not mine. I'm gay. Good to know. We don't say we. <laughs> don't say we, Chad. That's not a we moment. <laughs> Is that not a Wii moment? That might be a Wii moment. 
This is where Chad stays, by the way. Is Chad okay? Yeah, I mean, you saw the curvature of the earth twice. He's gonna chill for a second. <laughs> Chad's not getting up for a second. <laughs> I forget what I was doing, why I wasn't able to find him, or why it took me forever to get to him. Oh, I think I had a hit pop. No, 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 please don't. Please, you gotta stop smoking weed around me. I can't do it. I can't take it. No. He did go smoke get... weed in front of him. Oh no, I, I drove off and home. left him and then I got missing persons reports, so come I had to come son, back. I gotta go. <sighs> 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 yeah, I was gonna I was just gonna leave him there. Him. And then I runner hit me and he's like, hey, we're getting missing persons report on these guys. I was like, damn it, I'll go get him. Yeah, I couldn't did... find you. I went went driving around for you and everything. You just never what? never showed up. Why did you do that to me? Son. Son. Why did I do what to you? No, don't say that, dude. No, please. Not today. Son, why did I do what? I've, I've seen that dog smoke two bowls, dude. I cannot handle whatever that just was, Son, dude. I got in the car. We went on a drive. We had a talk. You mentioned maybe wanting to swing by the police station, and now I'm dropping you back off. That's all that happened. No. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Son, plays what, shit else, so what well. else would have happened out there, son? Oh, I should not have eaten those brownies, dude. Holy hell. Nice hey, Tarek already ride. talked to him. He didn't talk to him during yeah, then. He talked Pablo. to him before. Not nice, dude. And now we're going back. That's all that happened. That's not... No, dude. You're not fooling me, Chief. Dude. I thought you were my friend, Chief. Son, I am your... Nobody's... Well, I don't know if I'm your friend. Nobody's fooling anybody <laughs> out here, son. Wait, what was that? What did you just say? I, I said I, nobody's fooling anybody out here, son. No, about the friendship? You, you yeah, yeah. Chief gaslights the shit of him. Uh, I saw it. I don't know if we, if we properly answered that question or not. I, let's just look. We went on a nice little drive. You inquired about the police department. That's all. Yeah, I'll dye my hair at 900. Yep. Look, and here you are, right back here at your nice little arcade. Okay. Thank you, you guys for have the a fun ride. day now, all right? Okay, thank you for the Nothing ride. Nothing happened. Yeah, Bubble will gaslight your ass. I shot Austin's tire in front of him earlier and tried, tried to play it out. He went with it because he's cool. But... <laughs> Chad cannot handle what he saw. <laughs> Bubba is upstanding, damn it. Nothing happened. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Nothing happened. He, ch the, the, main, the guy that owns the server Look took Chad on a drive and sent him through the earth twice. I got a trip. I don't own the server. Chat out. So now Chat's freaked out. He needs a moment. Chat. Chat needs a moment. He's just gonna sit for a second. And then Bubba went inside and told all of Chad's friends that Chad was crazy and he started saying <laughs> stuff. I, oh, Bubba went inside and laid the groundwork that Chad too. was fucking nuts. And the dog's physics. It's a it's a character model. So the dog like morphs weird when he's smoking. It's really like scary looking. <laughs> But yeah, I will dye my hair at 900 sub point. And so, like, 850 is going to be something, too. I just don't know what it is yet. Um... Sorry, I, w I was actually looking at Discord. I forgot what he was talking about right there. All right, I didn't pay any attention. I didn't see him say anything right there. I love how you hear bubble law, and I know you just slid on someone's hood. It's a classic bubble law maneuver. Classic Bubba T. Law move right there. I think Bubba Law might be done for the night. I think Bubba Law is almost done for the night. Let's put it that way. One on one in route. Oh, my favorite citizen. What's going on here? Uh, I gotta head back to the station 1019. I was just, uh... Oh. 
So why are we here? Austin and Tyrone, just to report to them, Duff pointing a gun over at them, and uh, also in connection to pri prior tweets. All right, uh, Cecil, don't be, open your phone for me. Look at Twitter. Oh, now, son, why do we have reports of you uh, pointing a gun at uh, at these fine people over here? I was pointing a gun. We do have reports of gun pointing. Yes. I just got here, so I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Like, like, just fell into the city just now? Yeah, quite literally. Okay, now I need you to, to understand what I'm saying when I say this and be as honest with me as possible. You maybe fell into the city and perhaps had a pistol in your hand as you were falling in, or you really were here and possibly had a gun beforehand. I really fell just I really fell into the city just then and had a pistol. And for would you come over with me please? <laughs> Cecil is so done with Kira's shit, man. Cecil is so done. Alright, I trust you not to run off, I have you wait right here. Sure. Were you the one that called us in? No, I was not. You know who you know where they are? Um, it might have been Austin, and Austin went down to PD. Son of a gun. I think I saw you. 101, 105. Go for 105. Uh, I'm, hey, I'm getting reports from him that he literally just fell into city, and uh, the gun was a mistake. Um, if we get yeah. contradicting reports from Austin, we can go from there, but this, that's what I'm working with over here. In my eyes, it kind of looked like his head was popping okay. in and out. In so my eyes, I know wrong. whenever Austin, I know whenever Austin sees him, Austin gets really freaked out. And I mean, I feel like you've run into Austin enough to know that he doesn't scare easily. Yeah, I've had a few run-ins with Austin. Yeah, yeah whenever I, I know he guy, shows I know. up. So the situation we're looking at here, were you around when this happened? Uh, what time? This time, yeah, yeah. I was around. Now. I was around the corner. Okay, so he, here's here's the load on we're getting, and I got a I got an officer down there. If Austin's down at the station, I got an officer down there talking to him. Uh, this time it looked like he genuinely may have just been waking up from a nap and fallen into the city, and that gun he had out, you know, just happenstance. Because I mean, he showed up dang yeah. in the middle of the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see like I did when I came around the corner. I did see him standing in the middle of the road. 101, 105, do you have one uh, Austin down there at the at the station? A negative, he ran off. I'm going to be 10-6 with Lillian Bitsmoke. 10-4. But yeah, um, Austin, yeah, like, whenever this guy shows up, he just... Austin no, moves. no, and I, I was here for that earlier today, too. I'm just going to tell this guy to get the hell out of here, and if we see him again, we're going to start pushing charges, but I, I don't think this one was entirely his fault. Okay. Yeah, I think Austin is trying to file a restraining order, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, but well, I'm not exactly runner, sure. Runner said he saw him, but then he done ran off, so he might still be a little scared or something. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for him if I see him on the streets. Yep, no problem. I know Austin told me he was going down to PD though. Yeah, no, no, he he was down there. He just ran off. Oh, okay. When Runner saw him, is all. So I'll keep an eye out for him. Yep. All right, son, uh, I, I believe your story, and uh, this Austin fella ran off to PD to pile, file a report, but then he ran off again, so we can even contact him down there. Just uh, get the hell away from this spot and probably don't come back. They do not like you around here. Will do. All right, Cecil, as you were. How many times, Chief, is it going to be, you know, Kira at a... I know, I know, but this particular we... time, it looked like this he was... This one, I think you're right, and I think it may have just been a weird glitch. It's I'll just... tell you what, son, if yeah. weird stuff starts happening as of as of next weekend, we're making moves 100%, all right? Yeah, no, 10 for on that. Like I said, I understand. Uh, we want to wait till we have definitive evidence, and I get that. Here's Because here's the thing, with definitive evidence, uh, we don't have to go to court nearly as much, and between you and me, I do not like court. Yeah, 10 for on that. I get that. But if we, we have enough, there's a couple of cases we have outstanding right now where, like, we have enough to bring on them where we could probably win the dang court case. But it's like, if I just catch them, I ain't got to do all that, and we get more charges on them anyway, so. 
that, that's yeah. my mentality. You know, if there's another Chief someday, maybe they'll yeah. approach it differently, but that's where I'm at right now. I, I kind of agree with you on that, Chief. All right, All right. I'm going to go back on patrol. Yeah, I think we're the only two right now with runner out. Everything all right? Oh, yeah, we're, yeah. Good, we're good, we're good. I saw the sirens, I was worried. Yeah, there was a fucking local and they like rammed into us. So I put on my siren and try to get them to go away. Uh, 10-4, 10-4. Is there something going on here? Oh, uh, actually, we were just trying to see if it was open. Oh, I got you. You might have to knock. All right. Does the money from the Patreon go into the server? Uh, no. Legally, no. That Patreon is set up uh, as a Patreon to help support the community. Um, that Patreon is not a TSRP server Patreon. That is a TSRP fan Discord community Patreon. All right. Uh, legally, We can't force people to pay us. Like, like I, I don't believe we can force people to pay us to get into a server for Rockstar anyway. Rockstar might come for our ass. But then also, in 5M, 5M has a TOS that says if you don't go through their specific program, which we don't because we don't like it, um, you can't make more money than it takes to properly fund your server, right? So you can't, like, t pay devs with that. So technically speaking, we pay for devs out of pocket. We pay our devs, we pay our people out of pocket. We buy all of the mods and stuff out of pocket. We run the server out of pocket. A very separate thing is the TSRP fan discord, which we want to expand beyond this particular server. For example, did you guys know Fall Guys is now crossplay and has private lobbies? And I would love... I would love to do a TSRP, not just the regular discord, the fan discord, and get everyone who would want to be around in a Fall Guys lobby. You know, I think that would be a great time. Help me, Lord! Help me, Lord! Ah! Why didn't I fly out of the hood? Jesus Christ! Y'all see that pigeon on my windshield? I heard something. A dang pigeon got a hold right up there on on my dang windshield. I couldn't see it. Couldn't see a damn thing. Everything all right though? You good? Oh, I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. Dang, I, it it done flew off. Now it's okay. Wait, is everything okay? Yeah, a dang pigeon was on my windshield. I done rammed into your frog to contact the city, see if that tree's all right. But it didn't oh, look like it budged okay. an inch. I get my Sorry about that. Yeah, so what I wanted to happen was... uh, I wanted to fly out of the front and have to do hospital RP. <laughs> How can Bubba die in a way that isn't ridiculous? Like, it is ridiculous, but isn't ridiculous, you know? Yeah, I didn't give a... Like, I played the shit out of Fall Guys when it came out, and I haven't given a single shit about it since then. But, custom lobbies kind of sounds badass. I don't have my seatbelt on. Look, it says press B to use seatbelt. means it's not on. See that? Now it's on. That? Off? On. Off. Oh my god. Cecil's not on. Oh no. Oh my god! Uh, what a one, Cecil. 
Cecil, for the love of God. Is everything all right? Uh, Twitter. Twitter with the creepy finger guy. My car is too fucked. I can't chase. Nope, don't like that. Officer 133 is 10-8. Cecil, Cecil, Twitter, for the love of God, Cecil. Sit under the pier, Mac. Under. All right, there's a fella in a black car parked out front of the pier. That's going to be the guy who is meeting him here. I don't think he realizes that uh, that Kira fella wants to meet him under the pier. He's out in front still. Uh, go code two on this, all right? When you get close, kill the last two. I'm killing the lights right now. All right, he's heading in now. He's got his black car. My car, I parked it off to the side. It's a piece of junk. I'm going to be on foot for this. Four. Oh, hell. Okay, he just peeled out and left the whole dang place. He's not even over by the pier no more. Jesus Christ, Cecil, slow it down. Could you see me, son? Jeez, I was, no, I did not see you. I was trying to hide. Yeah, you're doing a pretty damn good job. All right, so the fellow was parked in the same spot you're parked in now. And he tweeted out and he said, I'm here. And then he and drove down left. there. And then he just did a Yui and, and drove back out. So it looks like he avoided getting murdered at the very least. All right, at the very least, that's good. You know, I don't want anyone getting murdered. Other than that, that fellow's down there. But, I mean, there ain't really nothing we can get him for. All he's done is tweet. Can't really do, yeah. If he's just down there, just... I just looked at Twitter now. All right, nothing really can do. I probably got scared. Who knows if he knows about Mr. Kira and his endeavors? Yeah, maybe he figured it out. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get back in my car. Yep, time for. Cecil! 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 How easy is it for you to go planes closed? Uh, I can probably go do it if I'm able to go back to the station. Alright, not now, but next week he tries this crap again. I'm going to put you in planes clothes, a mask. You might shave and put on a, put on a woman's voice if you can. Alright, uh, I'd be down to try and catch him like that. Might have you meet up with him. Alright. 
Listen, Chief, if we got... I'm totally down for this. All right, sounds good. I'll right, we'll probably aim to get him next week, and I don't know how much longer we got city time. Yeah, no, I don't want to do this so close to closing. All right. Ten good stuff, son. Chat, I need to run tests. Those tests are, can I fly out of this car when I'm not wearing my seatbelt? Chat, over under, can I fly out of this car when I'm not wearing my seatbelt? I tried it once already and I didn't really get a result. Let's try it now! I cannot fly out of this car even when I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Bubble all. Shut up. One oh one, ten seven, ten forty two, y'all have wonderful nap. Ten four on that. Nice. Whew, good day. Good day, chat. Chief, are you still on radio before you go? Fuck. <laughs> Hey, fellas. Hello? Hey. I think uh, Chief just retired for the night. Ah. Town was feeling quiet. Are you still on, or have you already No, I, I just logged off. Okay. Because I think Walker Runner wanted to tell you something. Oh, well, I can log back on. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. The problem is I'm stranded as my car broke down, and I just knocked out a local, but I can log back on. <laughs> See if I can get this low down. You should? All right. I'll pick you up. I'm over by the pier. Start heading to the pier. Why are you at the pier? Uh, Fucking Kira was tweeting about wanting to meet a guy under there, and the guy was falling for it. He's like, oh, you just want to meet and hang out? And the guy's like, yeah, I'm under the pier. I've got chicken <laughs> fingers. He's like, oh, great. I'll meet you there. And then something scared him, and he turned around and left. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Go ahead. Sorry, I can't talk. I don't have no idea what's going on with that uh, Kieran story. Like, I'm so confused with it. Like, I, I've only heard, like, I like him if he pulls it off, like, but it's about pulling it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. He's like there's, creeping the shit out of every, out of like so yeah. many people, and I don't yeah. I don't know why. Like in and out of character, I have no idea what he did. I don't know what out of character has anything to do with it. In character, it's related to. The, um, I mean, like myself. Like I haven't seen any stream or anything on it. Oh, like, I just, oh, literally, I just don't like, know. Bro, yes, the PP pee -pee boys no are just the PP pee -pee boys dead ass are sitting here like, oh, we know what's going on, and we're 
you know like they're they're physically at the beer it's the funniest shit to me oh they're down there too okay. that's funny yeah i i'm down there i'm literally on the pier right now yeah i'm bubbling hey, you're uh, we're creeping out yeah. outside of it One on one, very briefly, uh, ten eight. Ten four. Chief, what's your twenty? Corner at eight two one three. Ten four on route. Eight two one three to eight two one seven. Dog Cecil fucking hates Kira. I love it though. I think it's funny. Cecil reminds me of like a Cecil reminds me of like like a slightly different Barrel. I feel like Cecil and Cecil and Barrel give me vibes of each other, which is a good thing. Barrel's a terrific cop. Right there, son. Found a dang nickel under the table over there I was looking at. Right on. Good luck, I guess. Um, you know how I was 10 6 with Lily and Vin Smoke? Uh, yep. PD? Yeah, I do, I do remember. So, Lily came out of the car shaking and sobbing, and no way fit to, to drive that car. Uh, I gotta actually go get that back from Austin. We sat her down at PD and talking up, she was talking about how she doesn't want to see Hank anymore and it's related to her being in a crying fit. Something happened Hank between shot her, and, Barrow. her and Jones? Hank shot Barrow, Chief. When the hell did that happen? I, I don't know if you were on duty at the time, but it was the time of uh, you were on duty. It was the time of those uh, s the string of robberies by the dawn. Yeah, but, but Barrow's Barrow's been back on duty since then, right? But here's the thing: he responded to that robbery in Marietta Heights, or El Rancho Heights. Him and Norm got hurt in the altercation. He got shot in the head. We never found who did it. And now Hank's here telling Lily that he was the one that did that. Well, hell, does, uh, does Barrow know? It's not my fucking bad, is it? I don't know. I don't know if he made it to EMS. I don't know if he even has any recollection of the event. I don't ever remember him coming up with something like that. Uh, yeah. Runner, you're, you're my number three. You know, this last weekend, especially the last two weeks, you've been my number two. I know Barrow's been uh, busy, but I got to tell you something. Yes, and you sir. may judge me, and I'm, I'm going to give you the whole story so you understand what I thought would happen and then what actually ended up unfolding, all right? Yes, sir. I knew Hank shot Barrow not long after it happened. The problem is, is that we were dead in the middle of all that Dawn stuff, and I saw an opening where Hank could help us nab the bastard, right? Which I believe he did end up having a testimony in that case, if I recall correctly. Now, the plan, you were there with me on that plan, actually, the one where Hank... Hank Jones and, and Otaku Oscar and, and Tony, you remember all that? We were supposed to trap Correct. the Dawn. Ended up not working out, right? But that was that was the trap. And I saw a position where Mr. Jones... Oh, we got to go to the video. Oh. I saw a position where Mr. Jones could help us. And I always told him, told him from the very beginning, hey, we're nabbing your ass now. Or, you know, you're helping us out now. But as soon as I feel like it, you know, as soon as this court case has come to be, your, your ass is going to jail. I was waiting for the dang Tony and Otaku case. And the judge came up to me and told me she was dropping all the charges. They didn't, they didn't want to do it with them because they just they got the dawn put away and they thought that was enough. So Tony and Otaku kind of walked off clean for all that unless we filed charges against them. And I, I'd have to talk with all the officers. And at this point, it's just been so dang long because the way everything played out. 
But by that point in time, Hank had helped us not only with the Dawn, Hank helped us stop Jane Black, and he's been feeding me info non-stop ever since. Now, I'm absolutely foretelling Barrow, but since that point, I do firmly believe he wants nothing more than to help the police. I think his head was very clouded with the Dawn situation. I think he saw a lot of money and made the, wrong, the wrongest move you can ever make. But I have known. Let's deal with this first. What's going on? Daisy, what's going on? Hold on, I saw. It. Oh hell, there's a small there's spot of blood here. It's real small. You got to be right on top of it. Body in the oh yeah, dumpster. I see that. Body in the dumpster. TWP, thank you for seven months, bud. Appreciate that. How you doing? Thank you, Prime. Oh look at the flies, Jesus. We got enough. This is the oh, second. Uh, hey, they need y'all to get set back, please. Please set back. Oh Jesus Christ. Got a whole head right there. Uh, step around this. I'm not seeing. I, I can't find a body. I only see the dang head. Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. I'm actually not on tape. Right here. You gotta be on top of it. Yeah, right where I am. Oh, holy hell! That's, Son of a gun, uh, this is the second we found one outside of Tony's earlier. I had Deguera taking care of that one. What do we do about locals being murdered and chopped up? Do we have any jurisdiction over that? I mean, that's still a dang murder charge if we can link it to somebody. Okay? Typically, local life ain't worth as much, but we can deal with that if this ever goes to court or we've got to bring somebody in. We haven't had to deal with that yet. 10 4. It should definitely be noted regardless. We'll act on it one way or the other once we know, but it's definitely, definitely. worth something. Uh, it may be worth just seeing how their patrols are with these, sec you know, with these security teams, considering that these are all just happening around actual public spaces. Yeah, yeah, 10 4 on that. I'm going to go get a question started. All right, uh, who, uh, who, who, who discovered this? Uh, I just us. received the phone she call. She did. Uh, which one of y'all did you discover this, Miss Daisy? Uh, y yes, sir. All right, you want to tell me everything that happened? Was there a whole lot to it? Did you see anybody? You see any strange vehicles out here lately? Uh, there, there was a gentleman out here. I just got back from a drive, and I was putting my car up in the parking in, in the garage over there, or the the parking lot. Uh, uh there's... Do you want to describe this fellow to me? Also, how long ago was this? Not even ten minutes ago. All right, ten four. You got a you got a description of this fellow at all? Um, dark hair. Maybe maybe kind of curly hair. Uh, I think he wore glasses. Had a bit of a, a deep deep voice. Dark curly hair, glasses. You heard him talk? Yeah, he he had a little bit of a deep deep voice. No, a little, little bit a little bit gravelly. For the record, did you see him do this, or did he, was he just in the area and you noticed him earlier? He was in the area because, like, like I said, I, I pulled up over from you know that the little side street back there, and I, I parked my car, and he came running up asking if we were hiring still because he was, wanted a job, and I walked up to the the door, you know, as I was gonna go walk walk inside real quick, see if anyone was in there. Um, when I came back out, he was gone. And how long between then and now did you see this uh, incident in the dumpster? Maybe f five five minutes. It didn't seem like it was all that long. All right. Tall. Five, do you take do you take Caucasian? Uh, I think I believe so. Yes, yeah, sir. Tall, Caucasian, what color hair? Curly dark hair. Glasses. Yeah, I think he's he's wearing glasses. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. We will. Uh... This man is a doctor. Oh, I thought they were freaking out. We'll put something on his description. We'll be on the lookout for a gentleman like that. See if we can bring him in for questioning. Okay. Um, he was I'm wearing sorry. the. I think the jacket he was wearing was kind of had yellow and black on it. Um, I can't remember what the what the design looked like. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think it'll go a long way. You got anything else to uh, to add to this? Not me. 
All right, if you're all right, Miss Daisy, I'm going to take these notes back and uh, do what I can with them. I appreciate all the info. Sorry I had to go through this. Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, so person she just described, I think I might know who it is. She said, Cecil, I know you weren't up there in time. She said it was a, a fellow with uh, dark, like, kind of medium length, dark hair, curly, and glasses, which doesn't match our Kira fellow at all. But nope. the person she described to me was uh, was that Razor guy on Twitter, Ramirez, I think his name is. That's Daniel? I, I've met him before, and I feel like th that's him, ain't it? If if it was, that greatly shocked me, sir. He's been, uh, unless he went off the deep end. No, no, no. So she didn't calm. pin him necessarily at it. She said she saw him outside the unicorn, and maybe five minutes later, she turned this corner and found the body. So it, it's not him necessarily. And between you guys and me, I don't believe it's him regardless. Uh, but if we saw him, maybe he also may have seen something in the area or maybe seen a person or something like who may have done that. Well, Razor's going to be Raymond Zorro. There's two doctors over here! Yeah, yeah, Raymond Zorro. Not, not Ramirez, sorry. Congratulations! Get my, get my names mixed up. I wasn't there for most of the story. Did the witness witness the killing? or just? No, 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 no. She just found the body. She was here to check on the unicorn. Said she saw that fellow, then she went inside for like five minutes, came back out. Uh, one moment. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Where the hell did you come from? Uh, I'm from the roof. I was sleeping. You, you were sleeping on the roof? I was. That's the only place I can go right now. Homeless. So what caused you to wake up right here? Uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure that out. Do you uh, need EMS? We got them right around the corner. Uh, you know what? I could probably use it while they're here. Okay. Do you need to go to pillbox? I, w I would look at him Why he can't. He's, he's on a crime scene right now. He's getting in the blood. Uh-oh. I did. Uh, Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, you fell right into it. There's a damn... There's a, don't look too fast. There's a dang decapitated head right over there. You just damn near fell on top of it. Oh, try to my blow God. It away in the corner I'm so sorry. But, uh, I think he may just spread it around all over him. Oh my god. And we're gonna get our DNA twisted. I got get it off me. Oh. Alright. Hey, if, if one of y'all could look at him real quick, just be careful not to get in the blood of the crime scene. He done, He said he done fell off the roof. He was sleeping up there and rolled off. Okay, okay we're gonna move him to the box to get looked at. Yeah, just, just get him at, yeah, I don't, yeah. Get him out of the way yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just, I'm just gonna go back to the pillbox right there. I'll, I'll meet you guys there. Okay. Back up out of the way of this ambulance. Holy shit, there are doctors here. Yeah, there are I know, it's right? Gonna be, oh, it's gonna be Gary, uh, the guy on the bike. He does the duck defying tricks, like off the crane and off uh, Mount Chiliad. All right, well, he has glasses, but otherwise doesn't really match the description of the fellow she said. It's probably worth looking into anyway. See, so if you want to follow oh. him down there. Yeah, no, Gary BMX, I know. Uh, I can. All right, you want me to go back to pillbox? Yeah, just to see if he knows anything about the crime scene. It'll probably be a quick in and out, I'd imagine. All right. Um, I'm obviously my head doesn't want to jump to Kira, but just something to keep in mind. Well, I between us, I believe this dumpster is Kira. I don't believe this razor fellow is Kira, but I mean, just no. because that. Yeah. So here's the thing: that Kira fellow was around. We were in, around back at Tony's like early earlier today. We found a finger, and he was nearby. And folks said it was looking like he probably did it. And then later in the day. At same Tony's, we find a blood trail leading to a dumpster, and then now this. So, I feel like because Kira's first initial droppings were in trash today, anyway, I, like I, I feel like in my gut it's probably him. Oh, right? Also, he texted uh, "Got a strange feeling" at the exact time uh, we found, and this got reported, which is always weird. But I don't know. Yeah, I'll go deal with the pillbox. It's just check him out, Cecil. Yeah, uh, LT Chief, what's what's been going on? I've been inside for a little bit trying to figure. This is uh, Officer Kingston. Oh, Kingston, what the hell? I know you're still around. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go I've see for yourself, city. Kingston. Good stuff over I, there. I, I did see blood. I... You got to get real close to the dumpster and then the side, the side of the wall. No, yeah, I cleaned it all up. Oh, you cleaned? Oh. I didn't even know we could clean oh. it. All right. 
Wait, you cleaned up something right. now you're just eating a sandwich casually? The hell? Oh, I'll nice. put it on I'll put it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I saw the mayor do like Yeah. Hey uh Miss Daisy. Yes, sir. We've uh, bagged evidence. We've got it getting scrubbed uh, to be clean now. If you have any other problems, uh, feel free to call us. But I think for right now, the situation is uh, is resolved as, as it's going to get right here. Uh, okay. Until we find this bash, obviously, I mean, this particular instance is uh, taken care of. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, what Was it a local or? The, the body, we Dude. ran the numbers. We ran the, the data. The body did belong to a local. Okay. Yeah, and did a little quick lab testing. Actually, right. we just found an ID in the guy's pocket. I make that up sometimes. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Going okay, miss? Well, yep. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably be on until the tsunami takes us all into the uh, abyss for the week. Uh, so, hit me up on text if you need anything. There's Otherwise, a little bit more be... blood over there. Like, I don't know how to clean the dang thing up. Right, I got the sponge you. on me. All right. Oh, I think we do that. Where is it? Uh, it's real hard. It's a tiny piece. Kind of gotta be on top of it, right here. I got it right, right here, here, right here, right here, right on, right, right next to me, to my left. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Getting a real right good there. view. There you go. You're good. Right on. Get that out of there. I just uh. <laughs> Did you see any of this go down? Holy. No, we were inside. Gotcha. Okay. I hope just uh, if you see anything, let us know as usual. I know y'all are good about that. Yep. Appreciate it. Oh hell, oh. dang, son. I'm sorry. Just couldn't wait, huh? And usually I gotta, t usually I gotta try to get in twice, but sometimes I get antsy. I understand. All right, so we were in a bit of a deep combo at, at the end there. If, if you're choosing not to act on it, you're the chief, and I'm going to go by that. I, just... uh, I had, to just to clarify, I had full intent to act on it, but after the very, we'll call it, the dawn getting put away was very clean, everything post-dawn was very messy. I was under the presumption that Taco Oscar and Tony were going to come in, they were going to pay us some big-ass fines, they were going to do time. In that process, Hank Jones would fess up. I told him I'd go light on him for the help. And, uh, and everything else. Um, another factor in my decision is that Barrow came back to work at full capacity. He was doing a pretty damn good job out there. I felt like he was back to his normal self. Um, if he had died, obviously, you know, hell would have been brought down. But, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've been around for most of these. Would you not say that Hank has been a stellar addition with information and help? I mean, hell, he, he brought Jane Black through our doorstep. She's out of the whole dang city now. Really? Yeah, yeah, there's some, some issues uh, kept coming up between Jane Black and people who may have sounded like Jane Black. And that 12 oh. years got up. Uh, well, first of all, she threatened people before she went into prison. So that 12 years got bumped to a whole lifetime. Oh, nice. It's good to know. I think all the PP boys know about that. I think they're running some sort of uh, investigation into the entire family. Some guy who really just, I, think, I think at one point they believed that Ace Hart was a surrogate for Jesse Black, name, and uh, the reason I why I was hanging out with him so much. 10-4, that's about what I expected. Thank you, Caesar. Yeah, I'm not sure Ace Hart and Jesse Black are connected necessarily. He always felt like the kind of guy who would help bring her in, if asked. At uh, least to me, though. I haven't met him in the last few weeks. Apparently them. he's been acting a fool quite a bit. Uh, yeah, we got him locked up today. I don't know, because you are a little bit more in touch with the with the girls than I am. I don't know what you want to do with this info I've given to you. I'll have to talk to them myself. I, I think I can handle this. Are you gonna Are you gonna let them in on the info? Because they're gonna be looking at me different for the next, you know, possibly rest of my life. You know, I just want the heads up on that. I'll let you know what happens. I'll get I'll send you a text. But uh, I I think that Lily can be somewhat understanding. Vin Smoke may, uh, I don't know how Vin Smoke's going to feel about it, but she has to fall in line. I mean, you know, you're her chief. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Vin Smoke doesn't understand the situation. She wasn't even on the force when half that happened. Exactly. So, you know, I think when she hears just the situation without the context, you know, she may react a little bit harshly, but I'll try and diffuse that before anything else happens. 
I think we tell Lily that you just, just as long as they they know that I, I was made aware and that I had every intent to bring Hank in, and then Hank has proven nothing but but an asset and a, a very useful tool to the entire academy, and it feels like his heart with the PP boys specifically is, is in the right place of trying to help the department, right? Because that's that's a lot of where my decision base is coming from. Is I've, I felt since that moment he's been nothing but a, a valuable asset to us that is uh, where his mind's in the right place. You know, he wants to help. He wants to clean the city up. That's why they give us all that good info. John Four. All right, I'll um, I'll break the news appropriately, but uh, thank you for getting back to 1041 for this so shortly. Yeah, if they wanna if they wanna speak with me, they will. You know, I'll be around next week probably. Right on. All right, have a good night. Yeah, you too, son. Chat, I'm gonna be real. Okay. I'm gonna be super, super real right now. 